Today, as you can see, I am demonstrating the realistic plug and talk FM wireless intercom from around about the mid 80s. Now, while they are a pretty fun pair of devices, they aren't of much practical use. Both units have to be on to use it, so either one or both units must be left on permanently, or you have to agree in advance when the intercom will be turned on, which is not really ideal. They also suffer from rather low audio quality. Now, they are decades old at this point, and they probably weren't designed for as many interfering electronics there are now, and they would likely perform better in a timber house. But currently they aren't that far apart, yet the interference is pronounced. I'd prefer there to be less. In any permanent setup, you'd be much better with a wired intercom system. The one situation I think they are useful for is when someone is ill and must stay in bed. One unit can be set up in the patient's room with ease, and the other can be placed where it can be heard by anyone tending to the ill person. It would certainly be much more convenient than a bell, or having to wait until someone walks by to get assistance. For now though, I'm going to leave them around the house so I can occasionally do this. Today, as you can see, I'm demonstrating the real S Today, as you can see, I am demonstrating the realistic FM wire...